All right, folks, round five. It is the final countdown of the modern league. It's Eldrazi Heartless Summoning. I'm three and one now. So far, I've beaten the black white Eldrazi list. I've beaten Esper Mill, and I've beaten a weird blue red aggro concoction. Lost to Naya Blitz. So we'll see what happens here. I, I feel so good against any non hyper aggressive deck in the format. So we'll see how it goes. Haven't played any combo yet, but I mean, I don't think my twin match is too terrible between two spell skites and some removal in the main and then just a ton of other stuff on the sideboard. I think I'm fine against twin. I don't think I want to see a deck like scape shift. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to play against that. We'd see though. All right, here we go. Final round, boys. Let's do it. <laughs> My first loss of the dice roll, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I won every other dice roll. Lux got to run out sometime, eh? Hmm. I don't think this is keepable, unfortunately. If this was an Urborg, I would keep this. Uh, yeah, because I can't cast anything in my hand right now. So we got a mulligan. That's a mulligan. That's a mulligan. All right, we'll see what the top card is, and then we'll probably uh, yeah, we'll just concede. So I don't want to give him any information. That's a loss. That's There's no way I can win. So I'm just not going to give him the info. And hopefully I can draw better next time. I think if that top card had been an Urborg, I would have kept. But, nope. It was a losing battle at that point. This way he can't really sideboard for me. We should have taken a sweet time, though. I mean, it's an uphill battle from here, but we'll see. This is taking a while. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Like, he couldn't possibly know what I'm playing. He didn't see anything I had. I didn't reveal my hand. I don't know. Not sure what's going on. Niels, uh, nobody I know. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll see. 1,100 active people in this modern league right now these leagues are I, I really like what they've been doing with these they I think they did it really smart I think a lot of people enjoy them and I think these may end up just like straight up replacing the dailies I mean quite frankly the dailies are such a I mean, god they're so expensive and yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't like it. it. Granted, you can win a lot more with those. I don't know. Do people really play Magic Online, at least constructed, to actually win prizes and come out ahead? I mean, I know limited guys do. But for constructed, I think you mostly want to use it to practice, right? That's what I use it for. I, I don't know what this guy's doing. Like... Is he just punishing me for scooping? Like making me wait the full time? So I just bought this microphone stand today. Well, I bought it a couple of days ago. It just came in the mail today. I like it. 
Seems cool. Yeah. <laughs> or eh, Herborg. Do I go for it? I mean, I get one duress. That's probably a bad call. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll see what we draw into. I don't even know what I'm playing against. What the hell? Land destruction. Clever. Very clever. Well, we'll hit crack the earth and we'll make him boom bust next turn. I don't care about Chandra. Or he'll he'll boom bust on his turn too. So I'll throw out a sanctum. He'll probably hit Erborg. Interesting. Interesting concept. Flagstones, if it gets destroyed, he can search for a planes carbon put on the battlefield. Okay, so yeah, good uh, good synergy with Boom Bust. He hit the Urborg anyway. Kind of surprised. I was, I was hoping I could bait it out with Sanctum. I mean, I drew the Mire, so... Oh, that's any planes? Wow. <laughs> Must be nice. I mean, we're still several turns away from casting Ulamog, so I really hope we get some kind of gas in the next couple of turns. The good thing is, is I'm under, like, no pressure right now. I mean, getting attacked with a 1-1? One -one? Sure. It's a, it's a smart deck to be playing in the current meta, though. And crack the Earth. Each player sacrifices a permanent. I've never heard of this card before. I know Boom Bust. I got a friend who used to play Lane Destruction with that. Yeah, I got two Lane Destruction cards in my hand right now, actually. Wah, wah. What do I want him to hit more? I think I want him to hit the eye because it's legendary. All right, so two, four, six, seven, eight. Still can't cast Ulamog. Love to hit an Oblivion Sower. So I guess keeping that handful of lands was uh, a wise decision in hindsight. Does he not have his fourth land? I know he's still got that Chandra. <laughs> Do you have like a stone rain or something? Oh, there it is. All right, so we got Chandra, which again, I don't feel like I'm under a lot of pressure with her. I don't, he, he's just going to be using her exile ability. He's not going to be plusing her up. I mean, except for this turn. There it is. All right. So I can cast this now. 
Yeah, there's really no point in waiting, right? Two, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's just do this. If we can hit one land off of this, it's Ulamog City next turn. Or just not hit any. Yeah, either way. Either way. Drazi Temple off the top. What did I hit? I think I hit the Arbiter and Chandra. <laughs> uh. You know, some people would call it luck, but I'd like to call it, well, luck, I guess. So what? Name that movie. Mm. Of course, that's only one game. He's probably just going to bring in all the land destruction, and I'm probably just going to die a horrible death in game three. Still fun, though, right? We're going to bring in the relics because he's going to be killing his own stuff. I don't think I care about anything he could possibly cast that I would need to Doom Blade. <laughs> Did I get rid of all his dust? I mean, that would have been great at that board state that we just saw, but I really didn't need it. <sighs> yeah. So he's probably going to be LD on the shit out of me. All right. So now we just want a whole grip full of Inquisitions and duress and just strip all of his land destruction. Not the worst hand in the world. to get to that channeler. Yeah, I, he'd have to be a turn four play unless I top, if I top a temple this turn, I could crack map, go get anything, go get another temple and then an eye into channeler. That's assuming he doesn't have any land destruction, which I'm sure he does. Don't know what the holdup is though. Probably got an Arbiter. Huh. Go on tap. Tap. He must be desperate for a red. Wait, what? Sure. Ah, 
clever. Again, the beauty about this is that I'm under no pressure right now. I mean, yeah, he could keep casting land destruction. All right, now see, that's going to put a little bit of pressure on. But. All right, do I try to bait out some more land destruction? Three cards left in hand. Yeah, I don't think I want to drop the eye yet. So we'll go Sanctum. Crack the map at the end of his turn. Grab a Temple. If everything's alive, I'll drop Channeler. And then the next turn I can drop Conduit. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> sure. The drowsy people. Alright. We'll go channeler. All right, what the hell's going on here? All right, he's, did he make something not untap? I would imagine. Yeah, temple. All right, so we can go Spellskite. Right, first, let's see what he's got in his hand. Boom, bust. All right, so let's go I. Spell Skite. Redirect any bullshit. I think I attack Chandra. I'm recording a video right now, just so you know. All right, so we will, do we redirect? Do we bother redirecting? Two, three, actually we don't need to. Okay, so now. Go grab an Ulamog. 
cast them next turn, right? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, because we have to redirect the spell sky. Can't forget to do that. And then we'll cast an Ulamog next turn. Or actually, we could cast him with Kozlux too. Is good timing because Johnny is about to go crazy. Biggest thing is we need to keep either conduit or channel or alive. <laughs> there it is. Does he really have a bolt? Oh, a helix. All right. Well, isn't that special? Can I still do it? Oh, damn it. Then he's gonna kill it with ghost quarter. Oh, let's do some math. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Oh, no, I searched. No. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Uh, and then he's going to ultimate a Johnny. I basically. Uh, oh, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, well, he got a good draw, I guess. Yep, that's game. Damn. Oh, well. I got my 80 play points back. Got to make some videos. Had some fun. Getting a feel for the deck. Because remember, these are the first matches I played with this deck. So, I feel good. I'll, uh, I'll be doing another league here in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out the Higher Standards podcast and Project VCR if you like movie reviews. See ya.